And we are live. Welcome to Monday Night Profi Chat, episode 27. I'm your host, Mario, a.k.a. Darth Profi, right here. You'll see. <laughs> right there. What's going on, everybody? Uh, happy, uh, happy, uh, um, how you say, post-Easter, I guess. And I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Um, got, a, got a guest in the house tonight, man. Got my man, Philly, a.k.a. Figurecraft. Dude, thanks for coming through tonight, dude. How you doing? Good. How we, how we doing, buddy? Can you hear me pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, you're coming in loud and clear, man. Thanks. Just yeah. in time. Oh yeah, Thanks dude. For having absolutely. Me, brother. I, I appreciate it. Always, man. Yeah, it's always uh it's nice to have you here, man. Any, anytime you want to come through, just hit me up. You know, we're here on we're here on Mondays. Most Mondays. <laughs> right, Ray? Yeah, we we try. <laughs> we try, man. How you doing, Ray? Good, I'm doing well. I gotta close my screen here. Hold on a second. What you what was that? Return of the Jedi? What are you watching? No, I don't know what that was. It was um transferred some files over um <clears throat> uh uh that was a pain collectibles help you know if you know it does a bunch of my oh, videos yeah. and yeah 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 um murph sent me over uh he did a bunch of filming for me this weekend so oh nice i appreciate all the work that he does for me he's the man <clears throat> oh yeah oh yeah how are you guys this easter man good you not bad ended up at my sister's house he's hanging out Okay. Um, did some food. Damn, I ate. I freaking ate, bro. Hooked <laughs> up. Just basic, like ham, you know, potatoes, yeah. mac and cheese, and all that. You know, just basic shit. But it was good. Mac man. and cheese for Easter. Interesting. You're, yeah, man. Yeah. Dude, mac and cheese is like an anytime, anytime event. <clears throat> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but you feel it? How was Easter, man? Did you celebrate or? Yeah. Hung out with the family, the kids. They got the, you know, uh, Easter egg hunting and. My mother-in-law got in an accident leaving, so... <laughs> oh, no. Bad. Oh, no. Yeah, it was okay. It was in, in the complex where I live at. She backed into another car, and her whole entire oh. room was just shattered. Oh, oh no. I, oh, no. I had, a, I had to sweep it all, and luckily, she was fine. Everybody was fine, but she just got back. She backed into a guy who was backing out of his garage, and his, her entire uh, rear door, it's an SUV, just, you know, shattered and broke, and his... All he had, all the damage he had was his his tail light. So, it was oh like, luckily it was just all her damage, but uh, mm. it was good. She, they, they were they were they were fine. So, but interesting fact, uh, Ray, uh, you sold me um, <laughs> uh, Crosshair back in July. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I, I remember now. I was like, wait. Hopefully, like, got a good wait. price. I did. I think yeah. I, yeah, I was like panicking because I missed the 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 hot the sideshow version and then went on waitlist and I got still still got on the waitlist. Okay. But I was panicking and I'm like, man, where do I go? And I I found your shop and I I ended up getting a uh your fi figure at a good price and my 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 ad it was a good service. Thank you very much. And yeah, uh, that figure now is passed on to a buddy of mine, uh, Luis. He got he took it. And uh, it's in a good home. He is enjoying it. Uh, I, I try to get into the Bad Batch. Unfortunately, I, I just can't get into it. I'm more of an old school, you know, original trilogy and the mm -hmm. prequels. Um, okay. But it's in a better home. Uh, I do nice. enjoy better Echo. You know, Echo is kind of my favorite one. Crosshair was kind of like just I had to get it because everybody's getting it. And all, all of a sudden, everybody was. You jumped on the hype. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, I jumped in the hype, but you know, like I said, I rather help out a buddy who who you know prefers and appreciates it better, and I oh, end yeah. up uh, get you know selling it to to Luis at a good price. So not that. Oh, well, thanks for hey. uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, and and, and you know, and and uh, Mario knows what I'm talking about because I I hooked him up with a uh, Bumblebee figure too. You want to tell him about that? Yeah, thanks to my man right here, dude. I was able to get my hands on the Umber Trooper. The Ooh. the clone the the oh, you got one. Trump, that one yeah my man right here okay. Phil hooked it up <laughs> so nice. yeah, he, I I, yeah. I won the lottery and I reviewed it I took pictures of it and all that stuff and I I'm like kind of like this doesn't go, kind of go in my collection it kind of sticks out so I you know I know Mario missed out because he was he, I think you're napping or you were at work or something I can't remember what I was I was the previous night man I had like little to no sleep dude so I just took yeah. the day off just to sleep. And, and I know, so I know he's so actually doing what they do. I know, you right? Know. <clears throat> and I know he's a big fan, so I'm like, dude, I, I oh, think man. you would appreciate it more than I would. So absolutely it's appreciate still, it, brother. It's still, sit, it's still sitting here waiting for you. So whenever you want to come down. Yeah, yeah. As soon as it stops raining, <laughs> we're, we're, we're we're pretty close, Ray. We're about 
probably an hour and a half or an hour okay. uh, to each other, so it's not that bad. Yeah, not, not too far. Not too far. Well, I had a pleasure meeting Mario this, this past summer, and it was a great experience. And meeting him at Disney, we spent a couple days together. and uh, That was fun, dude. It was an incredible It was a good guy. time, man. Yeah, it, it was, was a good time hanging guy. out with y'all, man. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully uh, we can do it again. CaliCon, man, coming oh, up in uh, absolutely. next month. Yeah. Next month, yeah, man, May 4th weekend. Right. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, Mario yeah. and I, he, didn't, he never told you, but we used to be uh, neighbors within like two blocks of each other. I didn't know. That's okay. crazy. Was like, yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was, it was crazy yeah, in our old town, man. It's, it's such a trip. It's such a trip to find out. Small world, man. Like for reals. Put those shells together, and it'd be it'd be a real it'd be another community between the two of you guys. <laughs> Seriously, bro. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, man. I want to shout out to the chat real quick. AJ Grusis, uh saying that I'll catch everyone on the replay. Have an amazing stream, and don't forget to, to, to smash the like button. Thank you, man. Always appreciate AJ. I want to get AJ on sometime, man. If he's open for it, that'd be cool. Finn Martin, what's going on with you, bro? Happy Monday. Lane Kramer's in the house. What's going on, my brother? Uh, TX Box 210. What's up, Evening Collectors? Nice to catch another live. Thanks, thanks for coming through, man. Nice to have you here, man. Universal Key is here. What's going on? Lane is saying, uh, hey there, Mr. Ray, the man of the Hawk Wars is here. Yeah, Ray's here, man. My man, <laughs> my man, Rans Kumbawa. What's up, brother? Good evening in Japanese. Hit that like button and subscribe, man, if you haven't already. Thank you, dude. Always appreciate it, man. Got my man Ray doing double duty in the chat. <clears throat> L Walker, what's up, man? Happy Monday to your brother. Mr. Kennedy's here. What's up, man? Happy Monday to you, sir. We got Ed R. What's up, man? Uh, TX Box says, uh, what's good, Ed R? And um, yeah, man, the line is a real real standout for the Bad Batch. I've been getting really good for those who know what's going on in the end. Can't wait till Wednesday. Yeah, I've been catching up. So I, I purposely stopped watching everything, and I'm binging everything now. Uh -oh. right? So I'm almost done with it. I'm almost done with it, and it's, it's actually pretty good, man. This this season for me hasn't really been any fillers, but yeah, it's been awesome. Lane Kramer with a five dollar super chat, thank you, man. Appreciate awesome. it, dude. Uh, hey, love the positivity tonight. Uh, Profi, thanks for being awesome, Mr. Philly. Mr. Philly, full. Uh, if you need, uh, if you need a figure, hit me up. Hot course, he's always great to deal with. Yeah, speaking of great to deal. With, well, thank you, Lane. Always appreciate yeah, it. Thanks, speaking Lane. of great, being a greatness. Toy Quest One One checking Whoa. in from Vegas. What's up, Miguel? Miguel. Can you hear me? Yeah, we got you, bro. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm about to. Well, I'm super early for my flight home, but all I'm right. here. I'm hurting. Oh, yeah, Look, dude. you're hurting. Well, yo, what happened? Did you get some what you mean? I finished my tattoo. Oh, oh, it kind of like you were banging out for me. I really couldn't tell. No, they. Right, well, let, they let got it. See it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it again. You're not gonna be able to see it. Hold on. All right. Okay. Did they okay. wrap, it in, did wrap, they wrap yeah. it in plastic? Yeah, it's like uh like saran wrap. So hey, there's there's this new stuff out. I just I just got new ink this past weekend. <clears throat> um, oh, let's see. What you ah got? Ooh. Yo, nice. That was yeah. good. That's My pretty guy dope. Chicago just hit. Anyways, they, they they got this new plastic film that you put over it and it keeps your tattoo from getting infected and you can just keep it on there for four or five days well i just literally left it the care so he wrapped it okay. up for me yeah yeah like literally like it's so sore right now <clears throat> Damn, get but, what's up home. boys Fig figure craft in the building what's up dude how you doing man nice to meet you brother hey nice to meet you too man but right. what you got there yo what's what's that on your desk uh me just got just got my my in my collection i got the uh suicide big wheel style Back in my collection. Nice. Ah. Uh, I had that I, one too. That's a cool figure. That's a good I sold figure, it. Man. Yeah, I sold it years ago, and I figured I had Same to get here. it back. So uh, very nice, Batman, very nice. The Batman came in, and then you get the 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 uh, Batman Forever one, which is uh, co coinciding with the Batman Wheel release. Uh, that thing is a beast. Whenever we want to see it, check it out, Mario. Let me know. I'll hook up to my iPhone camera and I'll, I'll yeah. show you where it's at. Yeah, I'll, br I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up in a minute, dude. How are you liking the Batman figure? The uh, the twenty two. I love it, man. It's great. I mean, the only thing I got is uh, the head sculpt, the the unmasked head, head sculpt. You can't peg it all the way in for some reason. Pause. So people are saying you have to remove the back of the hair, and which is kind of a pain <clears> in the ass. <throat> but other than mm. that, it's it's a ten out of ten, man. I love it. Yeah, I'm hearing nothing but the best of, of it, man. So that's cool. Congratulations on the pickup, brother. Thank that's you, awesome. thank you, thank you. Justin hey, flies here. Your congrats on your tattoo, Miguel. That's that's uh yeah, that looks good. Thank you, thank you. They finally finished it. I was being a little punk though. This this one hurt. 
<laughs> I can't remember it hurting that much, but this one really hurt. I was like, yeah. oh man, it was pretty bad. But uh, yeah. Equan says Miguel is hurting for a squirt. Hurting for a squirt. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in, Ve- you're in Vegas, but, uh, dude, so when in Rome. Yeah. Hey, a tattoo unboxing? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, what, what you got on your desk, uh, Mario? Oh, this is uh, this is actually Luke from The Force Awakens. I've had this for a while. So I just basically. Um, did you like just took it out? Treatment. No, it's been sitting here right next to me on the table, right right, right here. Mm-hmm. I've been meaning to pack it up, but I just took some water to it, did a little water spritzing, and busted it up, and it's looking really good now. The hood is yeah, super, uh, nice, and I think it's an underrated figure, man. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. You know, it's very minimal, but I think I think it's a cool look, man, to see old man Jedi look like this, man. So, I'm a fan of the <clears> Hobo <throat> one. The Hobo one is, mm-hmm. is, I don't know, they date. They... They named it kind of wrong, but it's it's a badass figure. That's it is, the, man. I really like that it. We should gone. Yeah. Yeah. T. S. Box is complimenting your figure, your your your, your collection, Philly. Look at that, dude. Your collection is top notch. Definitely give collector display goals to aspire to figure craft. Hell yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Definitely. Thanks, text boy. Thank you. Definitely, man. Yeah. Ed R. Saying just received my hot toys. Batman and the Bat Signal. It's incredible. Hell yeah. Congrats, man. Well, listen, Congrats. boys. I gotta go because. Uh, <clears throat> I'm running out of battery. I gotta go find a plug. All right, right my brother. brother. Safe travels, yeah, dude. Have fun. Home. I'll yeah, go uh, watch in the chats. All right, man. Be safe. All right. Safe Yo, P- PCX next. Easy, uh, PCS next Friday. This Friday coming up. Ooh. All right. Let's go. And Adams, I'll, I'll be safe, everybody. You too, Later, man. Buddy. Take safe care. Travels, too, buddy. Man. See ya. Charlie Unicorn said that Mario dug out the loose out of storage unit. Nah, it's, it's been here, dude. It's been here for a while. <laughs> it's been here for a while, dude. <clears throat> text box the jedi master uh man has a nice piece little pose oh, thanks man just basic up and down <laughs> it's cool my, my it's add cool. real quick uh yeah congratu- congratulations to text boy 210 he is gonna be a father he just told us uh yo congrats man so, that's brother, amazing congratulations Congra- again hell yeah congrats. dude congrats in your family bro all the best wishing all the best oh we got someone else coming in right now and yeah tell him you got it Brother, get 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 used to breaking up your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, That's the most important thing. Father, huh? yeah, yeah, I bet. I bet. Speaking of good things, man, dude. So I'm browsing around Facebook and Instagram, and I see this man's my man Philly here dropped this uh, '95 Batmobile. So this is this is dropping now from um, from Jazz Inc. The six scale, and this thing is looking nice. Calvin just unboxed his last night at LWO. Lit it up. I, <laughs> thing is he, nice, he's, bro. He's he's happy with it too. Yeah, hell yeah, but I'll say, dude, these are some badass photos, dude. You did your thing Thank with you. this, man. A lot you of really people did your thing. think they think it's a backdrop. They're like, "How'd you get to the diorama display?" I'm like, "No, it's my it it's my OLED TV." So what I did is I I have this big ass OLED TV in front of me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm looking at it from here all the way down to here. But what it is is I have next. It's next to my desk. So what I do, it has a riser. It rises up, and you kind of level the the desk with the with the screen. And you can put stuff in here and use the screen as a backdrop. So <laughs> it looks legit, dude. It does. These TV, yeah. These these TV. The only thing I did is the the, the floor. That's that's uh photoshopped in the to kind of make it look like concrete because yeah. it's actually it's it's wood. It's walnut. But mm-hmm. other than that, everything in the back, that's 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 the older TV. It's 55 that's inches. Awesome, you, can, you can see a little bit of reflections in there when you when you look at it. But if, it's funny. I was doing a video. I think it was the review for the Umbra Trooper. And yeah. I was it was the first time I was testing out the OLED to kind of do a video on the OLED. And uh-huh. you can see the Umbra Trooper. But you may you see my five year old buddy. My, my son in the background <laughs> jumping around like a little monkey. And I'm like, oh, great. You can see his reflection. So I'm like, ah, we'll awesome. scrap that. Next time I'm going to go back to the, the little setup I got over here on the right. So what's up, Calvin? What's up, Calvin? If he's frozen or is no, he's there he is. There, he, no, there we go. Let's go, brother. Hey, oh, sorry, my, on, my, headset, my headset was acting up. What's up, everybody? How, How you doing, doing? man? Doing the one thing I hate to do, spending money and not making no money. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> What's up, everybody? So, Calvin, what the Batmobile, though, what, what do you give it uh, 10? If it's in the darkness, lit up, where it's just lit up, 10 out of 10. Um, like I said, I saw a couple little dings, 
nine point eight. Did you? It's because he 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 told me earlier. He said, "Did you check your wheels?" And so I checked, and I see a couple little small scuffs. It's like little black marks. Nothing major though. And then the community has, for the most part, I'd say about a good ninety ninety five percent of people that there's like a silver it looks like a flattened dime that's in between the seats on the back of the uh and the inside of the interior and a lot of people have a black line like a scuff that goes across i just have like a little corner of one on mine so nothing to complain about i'm good okay so it sounds pretty minimal then yeah no i'm, 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 I'm so happy for it yeah saying these pics are incredible can't wait to get this vehicle in oh yeah dude yeah yeah you feeling like we were watching the movie again <laughs> the lighting takes it out to another notch. The lighting. It does, man. You did an amazing just, job with the lighting, dude. Thank you. Yeah. And, it, you know, it, that's basically all the Batmobile. It's just a little bit of a side lighting uh, from a green light to get, give it that Riddler effect. But other than that, Definitely. it's, yeah. Yeah, with this little smoke. Are the smoke effects Photoshop or did you actually use like a smoke machine or something? No, it's Photoshop, yeah. I, I'm, I'm actually considering, because I, I want to do a video, so I'm considering getting one of those smoke machines. Nice, nice. Let me check in with a couple other people here. Jose G's in the house. What's going on, man? Saw him earlier on Shane's stream. What's up, bro? The fact checker himself. Commander Green. What's up, bro? My man's supposed to be on today, but it isn't feeling well tonight. So hopefully he gets better yeah. soon, man. Well wishes to you, brother. Uh, Tijuana Mike is here in the building. What's up, man? King Churro, my man. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, man. Yeah, awesome photos uh you know love the green light on it absolutely man um dude let's uh let's let's see what you actually got man yeah yeah you let me to... hook up uh, my phone uh yeah it's too bad we don't have that riddler because i'm looking forward to <clears throat> to getting that riddler from uh from so so toys not so so toys it's uh mars toys mars so, yeah exactly yeah on do we know when that's actually coming out not quite i don't know mm. it's, it's, <clears throat> Yeah, no worries, no worries. But yeah, Ray, are you uh, into getting any vehicles or anything? Uh, you know, I was gonna pick up that Jazz Inc. Twenty Two Batman, but I just don't know where I'd put it. Mm, like I, yeah. I, don't know, I, the more the more I watch that movie, the more I like it more and more. And that that scene. You mean where... you actually watched it all the way through more than once? Oh yeah, dude. Oh, you know that people do that when it's an actual good movie, Mario. That's yeah, that's yeah. what, that's what films are for. So. Key word like if it's it? an actually good movie. <laughs> yeah, and guess what? The majority you're on the you're on the short end of that minority list, sir. I'm sorry. It you happens. know why it's it such happens. a good movie? It's do? like the le only legit Batman movie that uses his detective skills all the time. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And it's you know, and it's it's based off that year one of Batman, and you know, mm -hmm. I I didn't think I like Pattinson as a Batman, but I think he did a really Same good here. job, and it's got that dark feel to it, and it and it's. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't make him feel like he's superhuman in some of these other Batmans, which he's sure. not. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, though, man. When watching at Calvin's house, as soon as the Batmobile scene kicked in, that's when I woke my ass up. <laughs> you yeah. Know? I was basically, you know, kind of out of it. You know, Calvin's over here nudging me to wake my ass up. <laughs> but as soon as that scene kicked in, man. That's great. Yeah. yeah Did you see really the cool. preview for the new Penguin TV show that's coming out? That's right. Dude, I, yeah. I, actually, I heard that it dropped, but I didn't get to see it yet. Yeah, it looks good. Colin, so Colin Farrell's penguin is amazing, dude. Oh, dude, he's awesome. He's completely, just completely. Uh, he's a chameleon. Yeah, you, know, you can't even tell it's actually him. That's right. awesome. We good, Philly? You know what? I, uh, for some reason, my my phone's not showing in here. It's showing on my my uh, QuickTime, but not on this one. Let me try again. Yeah, no problem. Take your time, dude. And I will say. Looking I was gonna say, Ray, now. stop uh, <laughs> that movie. If you're gonna keep watching that mo that car scene, don't watch too hard. Because next thing you know, you're on a wait list. Next thing you know, you get I a know. conversion. And next thing you know, you want a payment plan. Well, actually, he's not even giving a payment plan for that anymore. You yeah. got to pay it up front. For Are it, you so. serious? There's, yeah, because they're a couple guys they're ready to go. The network. There's a couple guys that have dropped it on the network already that were one. Mm. Like, I just don't know if I want to drop two grand right now or whatever. Right, twenty five hundred yeah, bucks. You, man. But it's, it's a beautiful vehicle, especially the 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 engine on the back end so yeah. yeah i thought about it for a second after i saw that scene i was like yeah that's pretty yeah. dope but no i'm good and that's <laughs> actually good. bad mobile is beautiful too like i love like, it man yeah yeah it's absolutely beautiful but 
I, I was saying last night. I personally don't think it's worth the price. What they're uh, what they're asking for. It doesn't feel as I don't know. It doesn't feel like sixteen hundred dollars worth what I paid for. Right. It. You know, a good thousand dollars, sure, I'll take that. But it's a little overpriced in my opinion. But still, so I'm happy with it. Thought the twenty two Batman, a clean Batman, looked a little bit better. Cool, cool. Ed R says when I saw the in art this morning, I was kind of scared of that sculpt. Just saying, let's go ahead and talk about that, man. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up. So in art went ahead and um, showed an update for their new Batman 22 since we're talking about it right now and here we go so we got some production photos of the new Batman and just like what Ed is saying I've been seeing more people that are a little bit skeptical about about these updates now to me I don't think it looks that bad but I'm just I don't know the character well enough to really to really pass a good judgment on it to me like just aesthetically I think it looks all right but if anything, I think the head does look a little small. If that, I don't know what you guys are, um, what you guys' thoughts about this, but but I think the paint apps look great. You know, the stubble, the stubble is really clummy coming in here. Really, really nice. I mean, this looks like a shrunken down person yeah. with a small head, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, Beetlejuice. Exactly. He's got a little, little Beetlejuice syndrome going on. This looks good right here, the Bruce Wayne. I think this actually looks all right. What would you think, Ray? Did you see these photos? I did. Like, you know, and again, everyone's got their own personal preference on stuff. Like, I just don't know why. I, I would never personally buy, like, a, a standard character of, like, like the Bruce Wayne. Yeah. I, I, you know, like, I was talking to someone this, this morning about this. This better be a killer figure because it's taken forever to get. And, yes. and, and knowing that the Hot Toys one is sold out and everyone likes it, like, it... it it better be super good or it's going to it's going to piss a lot of people off especially with the amount of time that it's taken so mm -hmm. i mean as we all know a lot of a lot of our figures look completely different when we have them in hand and different you know different mm -hmm. photography and looking at them so maybe the angle of the way the head looks is kind of skewed but you know I'm a, I'll, I'll hold judgment until i get one in hand yeah definitely we always see it's the lighting a lot of the time yeah you know, which which a lot of times to me, I think it's the case. You know, you can you can actually plead for that. Hey, bad lighting can make bad lighting can make or break a figure, man. You know, I've seen so many times when someone just takes a picture like like straight up front and personal with this thing, with and the uh, the photos actually overexposed just because there's so much lighting on that damn thing, where it just looks terrible. You know, but I'm not saying that you know this is a victim of that. I think I think the lighting clearly here is on point. Right. You know, so it's just a matter of possibly the angles. I don't know. Again, like what you said, we'll just have to wait and see, you know, when we get this in hand um, to see if we can make our final judgment calls. But, dude, you got a good point, man, because this is the first figure where in art and hot toys are actually going head to head. Yeah, hold up. Hold up. Philly, you ready? Let's see what you got, bro. Yeah, there he goes. Look at that. Look at that thing. You know, I was never really a fan of this design, but seeing it like this in six scale form, it's actually pretty nice, dude. That blue light, sweet. It's, it's, it's very nice. Whoop. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Calvin, he's asking you where you're going to put yours. Uh, I've been busy today, but I've been, I meant to reach out to Brian Wong and order another three one twenties. <laughs> so <laughs> where are you going to put those, dude? That, that's where, that's oh, the where top. I'm yeah. putting it. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I, I still have vertical space I can work with. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it that way. <clears throat> yeah. He needs to stack up. He's got, he's got a little bit of room, but where his statues are at. But then, then Calvin, then what do you do with those statues? That's, that's a problem for Calvin tomorrow. Right now, <laughs> I, got, I, got bad, I got I got I got bad mobiles to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> bad gadgets here, man. St. Patterson's. I haven't taken a pick out like this, but this is this looks badass right here. This angle. That's clean. That front end. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. The whole the whole front like that. 
because it's 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 basically a low rider. It's, it's low, <laughs> a it's little bit really low. It is. It's riding yeah. really low. It's like hydraulics are down. That thing is just resting. It's just nesting on the ground. It looks it looks amazing. You know. You catch up with the chat real quick. Fat gadget. Uh, Batman's bat. Uh, Batman took the character is, back from being detective, which was really refreshing to see. It's just kind of sitting on on fifteens, though. It looks like they're fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> we want, we want but they're tens, but they're tens, man. But it keeps them clean, yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Collector uh, Joey, what's up, man? Yo, oh, Philly's in the house. Yeah, what's Philly's up, here, bro. Joey. Graham, what's up, man? Jedi Nice Watch, what's up? Mario, Calvin, Philly, my course, my guy Hawk. What's up, man? What up, boy? Good How to you see doing, you, man. Hope you're having a good night, Graham. Uh, Charlie's saying no audio. You can barely, barely hear him. Yeah, I know. Yo, what's up, Seifu? What's going on, man? What's up, man? <laughs> That's beautiful, dude. They did a good job with it. So, so does how does it, it how how is the Batman construction? Figure, yeah, fit in there pretty easily, or is it hard to fit in there? I have Batman won't uh, sit down. Are we talking about in the in the cockpit? In the vehicle, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I haven't tried to I haven't tried to figure in the cockpit yet. No, I think it could you can make it fit, but it. I'm worried it's going to damage the figure. I already, I've already put in the bat fleck on the uh, the other Jazz Ink, the the BVS one, and I left it there for a little while, and and it, it was a little too snug where it just started marking. So, I, mm. I it's, and honestly, really, it's a waste of a figure. I kind of like I did that with the Batwing. I put Mike the Batman Returns Batman Michael Keaton in there, and it's like. We want these figures out on display, so I just kind of stick them outside. I don't put any figures inside because it's just, you know, it's it's uh, you're kind of wasting a figure, and my, I'd rather put them beside it than actually inside. Uh, so, yeah, but, same but here. you could, but you could technically, yeah, Ray, you could technically put one in there. Okay, I just feel like personally, it's like because these hot toys are so detailed, where I wouldn't want to like, you know waste the detail on a figure like that inside of a cockpit and then close it up where you won't see it unless exactly. he's standing inside of the cockpit or something like that or standing yeah. beside it i totally exactly. get that but inside exactly. of it we're gonna close it up nah man yeah you know so graham says i won't have the balls to try to put a batman in there <laughs> really, dude. yeah maybe you can put a lego man. in there put, put all right exactly lego, lego. commander green says so happy you didn't start collecting anything batman these vehicles will break my wallet dude yeah, the, the the Batman aspect is fine. It's the Jazz Ink aspect <laughs> that's the breaker. Yeah, yeah. I, t I told I told Calvin I'm like, dude, after the '89, I'm gonna stop, and then oh, I'm done. I've got twenty two '89 done. I'm 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 a wrap after that. If Are you you if sure about another, that, Calvin? Are you sure? I was gonna say if there's another okay, Ecto so one that drops he, a clean he, one, he, he I, he I don't said. need an Ecto. I don't need two man, two refrigerator boxes at the house. No, I'm cool. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need two that. Mini fridges. So, no, so give me another car that that would drop that I would need because I I already have a a representation. Well, I think it's a one twelfth scale of um uh -huh. the animated, animated series already. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't need that, and especially the rendition that he's gonna do it with. I wasn't feeling that. What about um, the, what, the what what about the ninety seven though? No, I'm cool. No, I'm, I'm cool. cool. Are you sure? Okay. Mm, yeah, look, I'm, right, I'm cool let, with let, the let's, I'm cool with the flashing light night light on the front. I can't do it. Let, let's let's put a let's put a <laughs> let's put a let's put a pin for that 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 conversation for like what two years from now? We'll we'll see. Okay. <laughs> I won't have space for it in two years, so <laughs> that's <laughs> true. We'll have to worry about it. But yeah, no, I'm cool, yeah. I'm cool with these. Like I said. When I started collecting, I, I jumped on a Lego version of 89 because I never thought I would get it. I, I knew one was out. I saw what the prices were. and I was like, I'll never do that. So I never thought I would have an 89, let alone 22, 95, the 16. I never thought these options would be available to me. So no, I'm, I'm more than happy with the vehicles I have, and especially with the DeLorean and the Ecto-1 on top of that. I'm good. Um, this The only one I missed was 66. He's also saying he's going to do figures too. Oh, and don't forget Kit. What about Kit? The, he's Jazz Inc's making a kit. Uh, he's, he he's, wants to. He's been, he's been trying oh, to for the last few years. I will, I think that I will kid, live vicariously through you guys on the kit. <laughs> <laughs> come over and like, hey, let's check it out. 
Uh-huh. No, I mean, that kid, I mean, we've been bugging him for a long time. He's trying to get rights from Universal. And, uh, you know, uh, can you imagine the, the interior, the, the detail, the the sound effects from, what's his name, uh, Daniel Lewis? Was it, is that Daniel Lewis? Something like that. The actor the, that played Kit. I think that would be absolutely mm. amazing. And, and then the lighting. So I have a, I think it's a one... Uh, 122nd scale. I, I don't know what size it is, but it's a kit that kind of you plug it in and it talks and it has all the little details, but it's in a small form. And can you imagine that in one six form? And then even even do a Michael, uh, David Hasselhoff figure. That'd be cool. Would you go with that, Cal? No, no kit. I'm cool with kit. No, nope. you're cool with kit. What about um? <laughs> Right now, I'm Shame. looking for Ghostbusters to go with my Ecto-1, and I'm not taking that plunge either. So if they don't come with say, something to replace with it with, I'm cool. Hey, you got you got those third-party ones, man. <sighs> yeah. Winston, Winston's looking like he's 95. Um, he looks terrible. Uh, Bakeman looks terrible. Uh, Egon didn't look Egon didn't look too bad, but you know, mm. one out of one, one, two out of the four, I'm cool. Or you can do the PCS statues. You can do that. Do a big well, I already ordered. Thing. I got I got one Egon coming already. So but well, actually, I saw on his I saw um, his next year's release list, and Winston was on was next. So we'll see. What's the ETA on Wanda? I haven't heard anything. Someone else asked about him today or her today. This There's is the mom Wanda, right? Are, yeah, there's a bunch of figures still in sideshow limbo. Yeah, that's the trip, man. They haven't shipped that yet, and I heard, um, well, the Vader also is taking forever. Vader's getting shipped this week. That's about so time. Vader Deluxe is coming out this week. Um, Padme have not seen anything on. Um, Return of the Jedi, C three PO, the uh, not yet. Wow. What's it? The bat, which is the the super battle droids? I've not seen anything on yet. Those have been out for a while. I know, nothing from Sideshow. That's um, crazy. What else? Wanda. Um, trying to think what else might be out that that I've not that I'm still waiting on. Oh, the the large dia um, diorama um, Spider Man has not come out yet. No kidding. Yeah. The Toby Spider Man with the yeah. with the Sandman. Yeah, and actually the the collector's edition Batman is not released. They're just releasing the the deluxe without the bat signal this week. Well, I wonder what's going on. Do you think there's something behind that, or I just think everything is shipped in pallets or whatever, and in storage units, and yeah. they can only fit so much in you know what's going on, and um, you know, I yeah, I don't know. So that that Batman with bat signal box is huge. Huge. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna get an unboxing. Maybe. Maybe. Yep. All right. Maybe. Cool. And that's the cool. two cameras. So good. <laughs> I know. Huh? <laughs> Blitz is here. What's up, brother? Hey, man. You're late, but better late than never, dude. Happy to see you here. What kind of Batmobile would y'all want to see in the DCU? Like a tank-like, realistic, exaggerated? I want to see another sports car. I actually like the 22 Batman. I like the idea that it's a muscle car. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind seeing I think, that something like that again. I think again. it's time to kind of go with like kind of a Ferrari type of style, you know, something fast. Yeah. And, oh yeah. I mean, I've All seen right. a lot of those those CG renders out on you know uh, those forums, and they do a really good job designing the Batmobile in many different different styles. And the one I've seen mostly, it's like Ferrari style kind of type of vehicle, you know, it's flat and to the yeah. ground. One of the original concept batman cars in the cartoon was like based off a ferrari type Mm -hmm. frame it looks like so it would be pretty nostalgic if they went back and did something like that that's for sure yeah equan is still waiting on gandalf (laughs) gandalf maybe next year too that that, i think kit's been shipping some out too but yeah that's yeah that's that's a tough wait that gandalf figure is so dope it really is man Feels like everyone's been waiting a long time for their Toby, and some still haven't gotten their Vader Kenobi yet. Yeah, yeah, that's man. A, I, I guess I got lucky to get hole. it quick. You, yeah, but I mean, that's a rabbit hole I didn't want to go into because when you get Gandalf, then 
you have to get everybody else. And how many characters we're talking about between 10 and 15? The Fellowship, not that many, dude. If it's, if it's just a Fellowship only, we've got Legolas next. You know, we got the, what, four Hobbits, I think? Mm-hmm. And then um, Gimli, and that's I think that's it. Oh, no, no Gimli and uh, Boromir. Mm-hmm. And Boromir. Wow, I know a little something about Lord of the Rings. Check me out, y'all. Yeah. Y'all say I don't watch movies. <laughs> so, Yo, yeah, the pattern. G- Godzilla and King Kong, I hear it's doing well right now. Did you guys, any did you guys see it? No, nah, not yet, dude. Not yet, it's, man. It's, no. it's doing really well. Like, really, really well. I'm surprised. But, yeah, I hear, I hear it's good, too. It's a good time in the theater. So, I'm definitely want to catch it on the IMAX and may watch Dune 2 with that part of, you know, may kind of, I told you, kind of sneak in the theater like we used to back in the day. Way back in, way back in the day, right? Yeah. You know what? You know why it's doing well, in my opinion? There's not good action movies out at the theater anymore. And that we, mm. we like, the, the market has stopped doing it and, and i know it's a super cheesy movie but like that roadhouse the new one on amazon soup it's a super fun movie it's you know it's we've you know the, the industry has stopped making action-based movies of just a movie it's it seems like there's everything's got an a agenda for what what's coming out instead of just making great movies you know yeah i think People it's just also want to go writing. to be entertained <clears throat> It's also riding on the the success of the Godzilla minus zero on on the yeah. Oscar win. And yeah, on the tail end of it, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. People are like, Billy, what do you think about this uh, about this in art update about the twenty two Batman? Did you see the meme that somebody shrunk the little head? Did somebody <laughs> photoshopped nah, the head really small. I didn't see it. I didn't see it, dude. But I I can see it here, man. It does like I was just talking with Ray right now. It does look shrunken. The head looks like he's like maybe ten years younger. I don't know. Like or the said, or the might, shoulders it, are way too wide or something like the, yeah maybe yeah. maybe with a cape on or something like I'm well, I can't you can't put the cape on without the you know with a cow without the cow can you and somebody said the angle I'm like no it's the size of the head looks a little too small twelve inch blue stream is here hello community of collectors I bought a Christopher Reeve Superman sideshow exclusive for three sixty eight perfect shipped wow. Dude, nice! Congrats on that, Good dude. Deal. It's yeah, a, ma- it's, it's a, a buyer's market right now. Sorry, right? Dude, no, you're yeah. <laughs> Xbox talking about the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes trailer that dropped this morning. That's I didn't get a chance to see it, yet, man. But that's gonna be interesting. I love those movies. Looking forward to that. Yeah, Matt Reeves oh, yeah. did a good job with that. See yeah, I mean, move I on. I got this on order, so I I. Like everybody else, I'm looking forward to do a comparison. So, so um, is the loser going to leave their collection, or what? What do you think? Uh, you know what though, get it? No, because this thing is so good that you, you kind of want to have one unmask and one mask. You know? Sure. I don't know. I mean, that's it, an idea. I figured. So, I mean, we, we when we got the Joker from In and Art, it's a it's a two pack. <clears> so yeah, I mean, most of it. So. I got one sitting on the on the diorama and one's just standing. <clears throat> yeah. So last week, let's talk some artisan goodness, man. <laughs> so that was fun, wasn't it? So last week, um, we got the uh, we got the T-shirt for sideshow or not the sideshow, the Hot Toys Jack Sparrow artisan edition from Dead Men Tell No Tales, and then um, shortly after, what, twelve hours, thirteen hours later, they went ahead and dropped the pre-order. Suddenly, again. It's, I don't know, man. I don't like that they're actually doing that, you know? I mean, granted, it was nice to actually get the heads up, you know, via text message from Sideshow, say, hey, yeah. uh, we're going to put this, we're going to put the figure up in about 20 minutes. So that thanks was cool and he- all. Thanks for the heads up, by the way. You got me. Oh, you got for me sure, on. dude. <laughs> yeah, man. And, um, but the thing is, is that I'm so used to having the, um, Sideshow giving us at least a week to prepare for the artisan drops. Yeah. Right. So it gives collectors plenty of time to go ahead and, you know, <clears throat> just prepare for it. But nah, dropping them same day, I'm I'm really not a fan of that. You know, no one's really notified, and then when people find out, the queues already filled up, and more than likely the figure sold out. You know, but well, but that I aside, saying, that I mean that that aside, sorry for that aside, I mean it's a good looking figure. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, no, I was I was telling Calvin that it's really genius of 
Sideshow and Hot Toys to do what they did. They they put the Umbra Arc Trooper a week before, made it limited to what 1500 and gave Sideshow what maybe 800 to 1000. Mm -hmm. And you had a lot of people that were kind of thrown off and like, what? It's already available? Because we, when we first saw it, we were, I was like, this is cool, but it's probably not going to be out for a couple more months. And then all of a sudden, a few days later, it's pre-ordered and creates massive chaos, creates FOMO. And so you have quite a bit of few What's up, bitter and upset collectors. So now fast forward to one week later, they're like, oh, we have this one, which is an IP that costs more money. It's a, you know, it's, it's definitely a you know, they're jacking up the price to $500 and then yeah. they, they, they range the, the, li the limit quantity. It's more than the, uh, the Umbra Tooper. And I think everybody that I know so far got this figure that they wanted. So everybody was happy. So, you know, it's a guaranteed pre-sales, which that's where they've been kind of lacking in and, and getting those pre-sales because. People was like, well, why should I, why should I get a pre-sale? I could just wait until it comes out and get a discount. But that's changing. Big time, big time. It's basically it's going back to the way that it used to be, where we never really had those kind of discounts, you know, way back in the day. And when something like this would come out, especially movie promo editions, I don't know if you guys were collecting back then, but they were gone like within the first few hours. You know, there were there were so few to go out, and um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's. The days of old, it seems like, once again, man. Charlie's like, FOMO wins. <laughs> FOMO wins. absolutely wins. Damn near every time. But I got to say, dude, it's actually... Let's. I want to hear your guys' thoughts about the price. So for me, the more that I think about it, I think it is kind of warranted in a sense. But at the same time, it's only the fact that they're... The rooted hair... Right along, along with the, uh, is this a sculpted dread? Are you I looking at like, the art, artisan or or the? Because well, uh, Ben Ben made this the same the mistake. Ben said he was looking at the sculpted all the time, thinking it was the uh, the artisan. No, it's yeah, it's artisan. This is the artisan page. Yeah. What looks okay, here, to you? Yeah, here the, looks here looks real. The Ish. beard is sculpted. Yeah, the beard. Yeah, the braids are sculpted here, right? A little difficult to tell man. <laughs> yeah the braids that are all hanging off the side of his face you know the uh the bandana is actually cloth so that's cool mm -hmm. but now shit, are they, the dreads they, they're starting to look sculpted to me but anyway <clears throat> shit, that now now i'm reconsidering <laughs> now i'm reconsidering the price because it was that alone that made me think about okay maybe perhaps with all the work that's going into dreads maybe they can warrant the price but if they're all this, sculpted, then what's the I, point? I, I'm sure Ray, you agree with me. This is one of the if you think of of movie movie fandom, this is like one of the top characters of Absolutely. the whole movie movie fandom. So, you know, for me, I made the mistake of this is prior before the DX15 and, and the 06, I believe. I didn't want to get them because I was kind of like I enjoyed the movies, but I was like I'm not really into pirates, but now going through so many years and then his trial situation and i kind of like uh i should have gotten one because he's a you know he's a character he, from, from movie fandom and it's it, it's a it, it's a great character i mean it's yeah it took so many years to create a character so i missed out and i, I was actually looking in, in to buy a dx15 or you know a used one a, a pre-owned and all of a sudden this came up and i'm like this is perfect they couldn't have done in a better time and to save myself money so yeah no it's, it's an amazing figure i think the dx15 still holds up i still think it's still some of the best work now clint martin yeah. is asking do you guys think the 165 dollars price difference is warranted between the artisan and the dx deluxe yeah I, I i said this and i sent something on uh anthony's show on saturday i think the best play here is the dx1 like I, mm. you know the is the is the wool hair any different than the than the you know the the dx hair that's going to be coming out with it i i mm, i'd rather save 160 dollars and just because the yeah. bandana is also like the actual fabric i i think i think the play here is the dx version and i and, I, and i'm guessing what it's going to happen with four thousand po's out there I'm, I'm guessing when when people start 
having to pay for this or pay full price for this and see the DX version is not that much different. You're going to see a lot of waitlist convert because people are going to want the DX version. I didn't even bother trying to get, uh, get any of these. Yeah. Um, I, and I just think, you know, and I think the play here is the DX version, to be honest with you. Yeah, you can't go wrong either way, man. But the $500 yeah. price tag is is a tough nut to swallow. Shout out to Ben it Thomas. Is. And um, but I went ahead just like just like Moosey, man. I went in FOMO pre ordered it too. When we saw the initial tease, I think Calvin and myself were like, you know, I think we're cool with the DX thirteen. But the thing is, is that when the opportunity comes for you to pre order it, it's that it's that rush that we get as collectors, the the, the, the thrill of the chase, the thrill of the Jeez. hunt that mm -hmm. suddenly kicks in, man, and right. then our primal instinct do we just want to go out and get it and um <clears throat> i was lucky enough to funny, pick one up it's funny you mentioned that mario because i had points i had all this stuff and you get so nervous you're like yeah uh, i'm just doing this trade buying like i paid right. full price so. i did the same thing because <laughs> <laughs> i think it was um i think it was the artist and joker Bobo. i kind of i kind of dwelled a little bit too long on the checkout and i yeah. lost it you know oh so That's then I felt idea. like, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing. Just do straight by. And as soon as I hit the buy button, like, A damn Express it. Check out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I forgot to, I forgot to apply my damn points, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. You get them back yeah. no matter what. So. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, more sentimental value being because of the Disney ride. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, That's the same here. Same here, man. And we're not, we're, I mean, it's still, there's still a small chance, but I don't think he's going to come back at all. I mean, what do you think? No. There's no chance he's coming back, is he? I don't think so. I think he's done. Yeah, he's done. I think he's done. Commander Green's getting ready to crash. Have a good night. Have a good night, man. Later, buddy. Appreciate night, you coming Feel better. Feel better. <clears throat> yeah, yeah I, 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 I think ahead, the, the concept of I'm a huge, this is my favorite ride at Disney World. Um, yeah. The fact that he was added in there, um, you know, I, and I mean, you can't get a better dead on image of the way he looks like. If you zoom in on this, people would think it's a photograph of the actual actor. Yeah. So, yeah. you can't and that's tell. Just, that's what I love about, you know, they do such a good job about capturing all of the details here. You know, and the fact that they're also giving us actually real leather uh, leather belts, leather boots. That's also a nice touch, man. That's something that I appreciate. But it looks amazing. It's it, But it, like but like you said, right, the, the, some of the... Um, some of the details that are in the artisan are actually in the dx i think it also has the real leather boots it's got similar rooted hair where at least the photos right. look the same but whether or not it's rule a wool real wool or not <clears throat> it still looks all right yeah so there's really not that much there. shit now you're starting to make me rip my purchase dude that's okay <laughs> <laughs> you convert like he said yeah. you, convert. you convert i could if yeah if him, yeah i'll think i'll have to think about it man the this as sooner it gets to release it's something i'll have to consider i mean that's why i picked it up anyway it's just one of those things where like you know what i'm not sure if i actually want it let me secure it if i want it i, I have it if not then i'll just pass it on to someone else that wants it that missed out at retail of course you know to right. only one of y'all out there <clears throat> yeah, I, got a, I got a question for you have you have, have you guys seen one figure that since the creation of in our that Hot Toys has created that has been less than stellar because, I, I mean, I give their kudos to Hot Toys. Like, there has not been a really bad release since In Art has come across, in my opinion. Um, I mean, like, I mean, look at this. This to me, this is an In Art quality figure for going off of what they're doing. I agree. And look at the whole Ahsoka line. It's been unbelievable. It's amazing. It's amazing what they're doing with that line. Yeah, yeah, it's, I think, yeah. They I are... think because because of in art, in art and all the third party companies, they're doing what they're doing. They're doing this. They're doing the oh no, they're they're reacting to them because they're like, don't take away your business, you know. Right. And they're doing a good job. And sorry, Mario, really quick. Good. If I based on seeing this, I'm, you know, remember when I said, you know, movie mania fandom, I'm mm -hmm. really excited because this opens the possibilities for, like I said, anything else and. Absolutely. It gets me really excited because there's a possibility we're going to see Arnold again in Terminator. Doesn't matter what what movie, but I can see to see that. What do you think? It's a matter of time. Don't we have an anniversary coming up for Terminator Two? 
or one of the Terminator uh, movies? 91, so 2026? Mm. 91. Yeah, 10, 91, yeah. So yeah. that'd be what, 35? Probably, yeah, probably, probably something like that. So, yeah, if that if that anniversary is right around the corner, I think it'd be foolish for Hot Toys not to capitalize on that. Just as foolish so how they didn't capitalize on the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Return of the Jedi. Is. And Return of the Jedi. What yeah. the hell? <laughs> so, I don't my, know. I have little hope, faith when it comes to anniversaries with Hot Toys. Yeah, my <clears throat> hope is with one of them is The Crow, but I doubt that. That's a very mm. niche, niche uh, you know, fandom. But, you know, with the Artisan, can you imagine a, a 2.0 Artisan with the... With the rooted hair that would be really wonderful but who knows we'll see if they're uh smart enough to do that because the 30th anniversary is this may or june i can't remember class of obsession yeah i am a disney fan but the thing is i have the dx15 already i already have the previous version with him on the shark so that's why i was like thinking i'm all right with it but still we'll see what happens dude um 1984. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. So then it's yeah. the original one. It's the original Terminator You're right. that drops. You're right. 40 so years. Yeah. That's that's this year. 40th anniversary of the Terminator. Shit. Yeah. And these 40 wow. year anniversaries are catching up too damn fast, man. Calvin, what do you think about this Hardison drop, dude? I know you you were able to pick it up, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I got it. Uh, I believe I heard you say that initially we were both fine with the DX, which I was. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, I didn't. I didn't expect it to go through, but it went through. I think I got in the queue at 2400 something. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'm at the end of the line. And then 30, that what an hour turned into 15 minutes real quick. And next thing I know, I was in the in the cart. So that's great. The queue went I fast, it. didn't it? I did. That's pro proven that you never give up. You wait till the end to make sure. Mm -hmm. You think the face plays will be a switch out? It was the old DX way. People keep saying that it's a possibility. No, I think it is. I think what it is is that the old way with two different head sculpts, and you just swap out the hair. Okay, because I've never owned this figure before. It's face plates or head sculpts? They're head sculpts. They're two different head sculpts. Got it. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so you just take the hair off and just pop it onto the other one. I, I believe that they would do that here, but the thing is, is that because we're looking at soft goods and rooted hair, I'm wondering how that will actually hold up over time with so many swap outs. If we're looking at possible damage over time by doing that. Well, it may be just then a faceplate where you just take off the face. That's it. So the whole head will be attached with the hair and then just take off yeah, the face. Yeah, yeah. Kind, of like, kind of like you do with, I'm, I'm sure there's other figures they've made like that recently. No, they, they, they've done that before with like Ahsoka, but I don't know if they've done that with real hair with somebody. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> But I, I guess they could. But I don't think I don't think they've actually mentioned how they're gonna do it yet. But good looking figure, man. But you can't go wrong, like we were talking about earlier, you can't go wrong with either the artisan or the DX. You know. But it seems like, you know, per ray, just stick with the, the DX release. Original Duel would be sick. Just trying to save people some money. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it do, is man. it is a bit of a stretch, yeah. It's a there's a big gap there. I mean, if you're face really, place with one head sculpt, if you're, you know, it's, it's just odd that you, like, you've got all these artesian figures, right? And you've got Scarlet Witch, you've got Anakin, you've got the Joker, and then you have the the rooted hair type concept, and then you come up with a sculpted. Mm. This, there's no difference between the highest end version and the deluxe, just based on the quality of the hair, I guess. Yeah. Um, it just, it's an odd play by them. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. Yeah. But yeah, man, that's that. That is the Jack Sparrow and it will be coming soon. Um, after that, shortly, we, we saw some hints of a dark side line that was actually being introduced, man. So I kind of want to take a look at this and, uh, yeah. So they teased quite a few different figures here most of them we've already seen right here's everything all lit up <clears throat> now taking a pause at this here we've seen a lot of these figures man we got the inquisitors 
you know, that we're already waiting. There are a couple of them that we're waiting for. Revan is new. This is interesting. Kenobi Vader, Darth Maul episode one, possible reissue with the 20th yeah. anniversary coming up. We've got the Clone Wars Emperor. I heard a bunch of other uh, streams. Not sure which version of the Emperor this is. Ray, this is the one that's already on pre-order right now. Yeah. Yeah, it looks just like it. Kylo Ren is a bit of a stretch whether or not they'll actually reissue this thing. I'm curious to know what they'll actually do with it. Or if it's just here just for the just for the display that they're that they're planning on having. Um they're having an exhibit, right? Like mm -hmm. out, out overseas in China. <clears throat> so we'll see what they do. Star Killer is another is something new. So this will be interesting. We got uh Moff Gideon in the back. I don't I have no idea why he would be here. Oh. We've also got a Count Dooku, and right behind him is another Inquisitor, but I can't only really tell who it is. Well, is isn't it that the... Marek? Is that Marek? Uh -huh. Marek, Marek, yeah, yeah. That's Marek? Okay. So then, yeah. So initially, I'm all I'm all excited, man. I mean, you see the name right here, you know, Darth Brophy, dude, right? I'm all about them red <laughs> lightsabers, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so you guys already know, as soon as I see a bunch of red blades lighting up, I'm like, hell yeah. Let's make it happen. But then after taking a closer look, I'm like, eh, seen that? We already got it. We already got it. So there's basically two new figures here or two new potential new figures, you know, which still is exciting, but I hope I'm, I'm actually hopeful that. So this thing will go out on an exhibit, right? And then I think they did this with the rogue one line. They took it out on exhibits. And then later on, we got the pre-orders. So hopefully, you know, they'll follow suit. You know, with a Darth Maul, hopefully, or not Darth Maul, but Darth Revan. I'm sure Darth Maul 20th anniversary will be coming up. The Star Killer, hopefully, will be out for pre order. But I hope this opens up the door for more Dark Side figures, more Sith users, man. For me personally, I would love to see like a Darth Malak. I would love to see the Inquisitor from uh, Tales of the Jedi that was going after the so that was going after Ahsoka. That's a beautiful design, man. I would love to see something like that, man. Um, a couple other ones too. Uh, someone mentioned Darth Malgus. That'd be dope. And um, but yeah, it's it's exciting and interesting at the same time to see what they'll actually do with it. But I wanted to get you guys' thoughts to see, you know, are you guys is this something you guys are interested in, or do you guys have any speculations that they'll probably start releasing new stuff? Start with you, Philly. What are your thoughts on this uh, on this little announcement here? Well, I have more uh, dark side than I have light side, so that tells you something that. We, we <laughs> All more right. bad guys so oh, yeah. yeah i mean bring on the the you know go into the old republic go into you know get us what's her name savage ventress that, that's a yeah great savage ventress there. hell yeah dude yeah yep. and and the only reason why i know of her because i'm of the original clone wars cartoon that's that's where i end up starting with clone wars when the remember the cartoon the original Before animated the, one the, the 2d yeah. one right yeah yeah I got into that. That was amazing. That was great stuff. And she was badass. In I, there. Yeah, yeah. She was badass. So, and that kind of dwindled off from there. I didn't, you know. But those are all those. Yeah, give us stuff, and then also give us Elseworld stuff. Give us alternate universe. I mean, that that was sort of kind of teased a little bit. You know, uh, this is not dark side, but maybe a, a light side Ben, or you know, or mm. dark side Luke. You know, something like that. Where, because you know, sideshow was kind of onto something doing. That stuff where they did that Obi Wan, uh, the what was it? That Obi Wan that was from a different universe or something, and then the the mythos Bet too, the mythos, yeah, the mythos, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of cool, but yeah, I'm all in for this stuff. And you know, I have the Inquisitor, I have the you know Obi Wan Darth Vader coming in, and if the other two Inquisitors come, yeah, I'll I'll hunt Reva because Reva, I heard Reva is a great figure, and and that, I kind of missed out yeah. on that one, but. Yeah. You know, if the other two are coming, make make it a whole set. You know, why not? It, I mean, that, that's, like I said, I'd rather have the bad guys than the good guy most of the time. So I, right. I'm definitely in for sure. Yeah, I'm hearing great things about Reva too, man. I know Mafia has it. He loves the thing. He loves it. I think Cal actually got it too. If you were here, hopefully you he can confirm. Um, but yeah, I heard it's, it's very clean. Figure. It's a very clean figure, which is good. Like it's, it's, it's very, yeah. I like that stuff. Yeah. Collection Exception says that wouldn't mind Duke on a speeder bike. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, 
I missed out on Dooku. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. But I missed out on Dooku, and I, I want desperately a 2.0 uh, like many other people. So definitely want that. Charlie Unicorn is hedging his bets on a Maul and a Savage or press drop. That would be sweet. That would be cool to see Savage, actually. He was, he was, he was cool. He was dope. He was dope. What are your thoughts on this, Ray? Uh, you know, I, Ventress would be awesome, especially now that she... Hopefully, I'm not spoiling it from anyone on Clone or uh, Bad Batch, but they did maybe a double head sculpt where you've got the Clone Wars version, but then the new Bad Batch version. That would be pretty sweet. I mean, she's a pretty popular character. I mean, the statue that sold on Sideshow sold really well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Star Killer would be awesome. I mean, he's a, you know that that uh, the Force Awakens video game is was incredible. Yeah. Um, you know, like that last, I don't know if you guys ever played, but that last scene where you can choose to do kill Vader. Either go dark or, or light. Uh, yeah. That was, that yeah. was awesome. Yeah, that was um, cool. I, I personally, I think they're going to drop another mall because of the anniversary and the DX-16 is such a nostalgic figure out there. I think it that makes sense. Yeah. They'll have to drop it again. And I, from whatever reason, that Dooku looks a little slightly different than the, the Dooku that's you know the attack of the clones it looks a little different i would not be surprised and especially with all the drops of all these you know the super battle droid and there was another drop where there was a dooku image in there like i know where there's smoke there's fire in a lot of times I, I i think they're gonna drop them again i would i would think so and this is a perfect time to do that right absolutely you know definitely agree and that dark side ray if that came out oh my gosh that would be Dude, a killer figure i wouldn't mind that man i mean charlie unicorn yeah. seems to be teasing about that but i'd, I'd probably get it yeah i think she i think that outfit looks dope your lightsaber yeah. is badass so I, I i'd probably pick it up but s beam i love where your mind is at but Corey vader yeah. dude yeah. please that's something that i've wanted for years man was a concept uh was a concept line mccory concept line for the troopers man for you know for vader for luke that'd be badass man that would be that'd be a dope be ass epic. line man yeah <clears throat> absolutely uh ed r says hopes that we get another mall i need to get the inquisitor from ray <laughs> i keep trying to get him but i keep losing ray yeah yeah man yeah terror destroyer uh yeah some collectors are rough with their pieces like they are with their women, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree the details are outstanding. You know, for me, that's where Hot Toys always shines. <clears throat> TX Box, um, I'm split though. If I had to choose between a Star Killer and a Revan, I think that it would be a tie for those two. That's if you had to choose one, what would you guys choose? Because this this is also kind of difficult for me too. Yeah. If they came out with like a die cast version of Star Star Killer, like that would be pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. And with that helmet being metal and everything, it would be pretty sweet. I'm kind of leaning towards you just because of the fact that I've already got the XM quarter steel statue of Darth Revan. Oh, you so do to have something, yeah, yeah. yeah. So to have something different, um, I think that, I, th I think I'd probably go that route also to get Star Killer. And I'm more familiar with Star Killer than I am with Revan too. But although what I know of Revan. That man's a beast. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, those... I just <clears throat> sorry, Ray. Just a few days ago, I didn't know Star Killer had a, a full suit. Like I, I, yeah. I was a yeah. fan of the Unleashed uh, games, but I didn't know he looked like Darth Vader. It was at the end result towards the end of of the series. Yeah, or, or, where you yeah. where you choose what Ray said earlier, man. If you choose to either kill Vader or or choose to spare him, that'll Got determine it. your fate in the game. Got it. Yeah. I didn't know and that. I think they also did a uh, they did an expansion pack where you actually kill Luke, running around as as, as Dark Side uh, a Star Killer. So that was actually pretty cool. Yeah, it was like or, an extra game or something, right? Like it was yeah, I even think it was like a an metal expansion pack or something. Metal metal case, which yeah. was hard to find back in the day. Yeah, I remember that game, dude. Star Killer actor is a hardcore Star Wars fan. Yeah, dude, Sam Witwer, he definitely is, man. Nice the like button, y'all. Thanks, Beam. You think they would include a, his actual head sculpt, though, part of that figure? Because it no, because I think I think his yeah yeah I think his face was damaged or something like that. But it would be dope. Yeah. 
that'd, I'd appreciate if they actually did that. Yeah, Swotor um, <clears throat> involved Dark Revenant in story. Bro, I never played it, man. I couldn't get into the uh, Star Wars The Old Republic or Knights of the Old Republic just because of that style of gameplay with the RPG. I'm not a fan of that. I could, <laughs> not, I, I, I could not get into it, man. Me either. They had, they had a cool opening, though. That was a cool mm, opening. Really? You were saying that at the beginning of it. I was like, mm -hmm. this is dope. Yeah, even if they locked Duke on a speeder bike, like they did in, in um, with Commander Apple, I'll buy them. Yeah, that'd be cool. Make it a 2.0 2 Dooku, yeah. I know a lot of collectors that are collecting Star Wars want that Dooku also. It's an amazing figure. It still holds up. You know what would also be cool? It'd be a, a Yoda and Dooku 2-pack. That'd be sweet. Like that, that would be old. sweet, man. Yeah. But they did Yoda not that long. Well, to me, it seems not that long ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they've already did. They already done a second run of it. So. But imagine a Yoda with movable eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little things that get us, right? Yeah. <laughs> Got to get yeah. the updates. <laughs> a new sculpt with uh, oh, yeah, man. separating rolling eyes. That would be really cool. So I showed Hot Toys should do a Kickstarter type of sales for many of these characters that they might be limited. Yeah, I don't know if I like that idea of a Kickstarter. Oh, not just me. You guys think they're gonna come out with PvP. the two other Inquisitors? Yeah, they're bound to come so. out, dude. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think sometime. They've it's been the pushing it. Well, yeah, yeah, they've been they've been advertising them so much, dude. I don't I don't think that they would just let them sit. <laughs> well, at least I don't think so. I think those are most likely to come out than they. Uh... A Drax. Need a retail Duke <laughs> <and> Yoda. <laughs> yeah, I know. What is up with that damn Drax, dude? They actually showed it a while ago, man. It's still not out yet. I don't know. I don't know. Cal, what are your thoughts on these uh, Dark Side uh, drops, dude? From the characters that I do know, it looks dope. I think it's cool on the, the idea that we can finally get some new uh, blood in the line, though. Mm -hmm. But yeah. from what I do see that they have um, in the image, it does look like it's a lot of just copy and paste that was thrown together in a very sm uh, smooth way with all the sabers. And speaking of sabers, I think that's an expensive CCFL bill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. For you, definitely, man. I've been thinking about that too, dude. Maybe. Do you I have, have to figure any? out what I want to do. I don't have any. But I I've seen them in Cal's collection. Have... They look amazing. Yeah, I have zero, so I'm I'm, I'm kind of curious, but yeah, it's, it sounds very expensive. Yeah, they're, they're not expensive. Like if you do like one or two at a time, but I'm just saying if you try and jump in deep to try and cover this line and do like twelve at a time, that would yeah. be expensive. Yeah, true. Like I've done them over, play here, over the years. Yeah, that's true. You don't. <laughs> I don't yeah. think that Revan will be the first uh, to have a dual uh, have a dual lightsaber lighter feature, uh, but that'd be a hell of a unique on the shelf with the purple and red. That would be sick. That would be sick. I wish the XM sabers lit up. That would have been dope. They actually would have done that. Um, <clears throat> got some third party uh, news, guys. So 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 Toys went ahead and dropped their Mister Night figure. So this is actually starting to come out now. And I think it came out pretty good. You know, it looks all right. I really like the light up features in the eyes. But I was saying last night on LWO, I think the tailoring could be a little bit more refined. But I guess we can excuse it for third party, I guess. You know, but it, but it still looks cool nonetheless, man. I've always liked this this design of this particular character here. But then there's also uh, a head skull for um, Oscar Isaac. Mm -hmm. Which absolutely looks freaking good, man. This looks this great. looks great. I think they did an amazing job with this head sculpt. And I've seen photos of this Oscar Isaac sculpt planted on the Moon Knight. <laughs> it looks sick. It looks really, really good, man. But Philly, have you seen these? Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't like the tailoring. I thought the tailoring looks stellar. I mean, it looks really good. I mean, it's just the textures probably that kind of took me in. It but, looks a little poofy to me, dude. Like not like. Yeah, I see. <clears throat> I see what you're saying now. It looks like 
like a you know not dollish, not realistic. I, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, Cause not cause as form fitting. I think they could be. as it could be. Because they're a little thicker than normal, but probably. Yeah, maybe. I. What's that? <clears throat> I was gonna say maybe you bought off the rack. Mm. <laughs> All right. Instead of Taylor made. That's just said Taylor made, yeah. You know, he on a budget. There you go. I'm, ex- I'm excited for this. I haven't technically bought it, so I got to hunt for it soon. But I, my original plan was to get this and use that head skull for a Poe. I think a lot of collectors are having that same idea. Yeah. Yeah. And it could be either if I get a, I don't have a fin, I can either get a fin. Put Finn's head sculpt into a stormtrooper and give him the red marking, mm. or do you know and give that the the the, the, the clothing to Poe, or take a Luke um, uh, uh, Jedi fighter Luke and put Poe in with that. But uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens because uh, yeah, Poe sh- he should have gone he should have gotten a figure a long time ago. I don't know why. I'm surprised they haven't done it yet. Yeah. It's it's unfortunate, so we have to take matters into our own hands. But yeah, I love it, and then this this alone looks great. I love yeah. the uh, the light the lighting feature in the eyes. That's great. Yeah, Clinton, I just I just don't th- I just think the Taylor could be more form fitting. It just looks a little bit lo- little poofy on him. That's all. How much is this? I don't remember. You guys remember a price tag on this thing? Between one ninety no. to two two twenty. Mm. It's gonna climb up there because it's everyone's looking for that head sculpt. It oh, for sure. There. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this was MK and Konshu will make a killer display. Yeah, with Moon Knight and Konshu. Yeah, that'd be dope. It would look good. But Phil, the gentleman on the Lion Rock. Uh, has a good price. Okay. Thank you, Moose. There you go. There you go. What do you think about this release, Ray? I like it. It looks pretty sweet. This, I, 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 was, I was hoping this show would be a little better than it was, but mm-hmm. it was... This, Moon Knight's one of my favorite characters, and um, yeah, I, I, I mean, it, I don't know. I think it was um, Lael posted those photos, didn't he? With the head sculpt in the Moon Knight. I think so. Yeah, yeah they, awesome. They're actually here. Let me see, let me see if I can find them. I, they're they're posted in his group. I'll pull them up real do, quick. Ray, do you own the Moon Moon Knight figure? The actual yeah. figure. Yeah. yeah. It's it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's incredible. That cape is awesome, and it, you don't. You wonder why they don't do more of the sculpted capes with their product. I mean, all it really it is is a, is a wire, right? I mean, it's mm-hmm. it's a fun figure and holds up really well. And I yeah, there it is. H- hardwired it to the to the eyes with a USB plug, so now it's like his eyes are on all the time. Yeah, I mean, look this how looks cool that dope. looks. That looks so good. Yeah. And the fact that they were able to get a fit on there too, man. Uh, look at this, dude. That is oh, dope. Awesome. That is actually pretty damn cool. That ah, looks really cool. <laughs> I might have to get this. I'm not a really oh, big shit. third party guy, but boy, that looks awesome. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, these photos look really good. If you're gonna go third party, definitely go so so. They they do quality stuff. Yeah. More more or less. Yeah, I just got the Prince figure that they did. I like it. Yeah. It's too tall, but I like it. What do you think, Cal? I think with that being said, Ray, I know I already asked you for this. If you come across a Moon Knight, let me know. <laughs> Damn, I, 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 I need all this co-signing going on tonight. I was like, maybe he'll forget about it. I ain't worried about it. I got other shit I can get. Yeah, go ahead. If you can find one, let me know. Yeah, but, uh, no, the more, the more, the more I look at this, the more it looks good. And um, I, I, I was okay with the show. From what I knew of the, of the research I did about the character, I liked it. I just thought it, it, it lost steam. Um, with the yeah. ending yeah. and um my wife really enjoyed it shockingly but the funny thing is she, every night she would call it are we watching moonlight tonight and i'm like it's moon night moonlight, no wow. are we watching moonlight i'm like he's a goddamn warrior what part don't you get about this she always said moonlight i was like i don't understand what you don't she was get, hoping but... for bruce willis that's what she wanted to watch yeah no shit, that dude. Too. <laughs> But yeah, no, no. I think it looks good, especially this third party one. Um, the more I look at it, and I, I purposely had ignored both of these because, like, I, I'd be all right without these two. And now that I keep looking at the two of them, I'm like, damn. Not only do I want the one, I want the third party to go with it too, because that was a cool yeah. character when he, when every anytime he hit the screen, um, mm-hmm. that was sweet in the suit. So, uh, and then you know, then you got Moose. 
Hey, fellas, it's over here. Go, go pick it up. <laughs> Appreciate you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Hit up us. Uh, uh, Shane, one six figure focus for that discount. Right he's got now, one. I got, now, I got to hit my international connection. Yo, Shane, uh, yep. what you do for me <laughs> exactly. You guys see that they also did Old Man Logan? Yeah, I this did. Also really. dropped at the who, same time. Dude. Who picked this? Somebody, somebody picked this up. I've heard them say it twice in the last couple of days. Probably Corvo. I, 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 I think I, I can't. No, not Corvo because Corvo does a stream. I can't jump. Oh, okay. I, I, can, I, mean, I, can, I can't think of who said it, but somebody somebody's made a point to let it be known that they picked this up twice now. So, but it looks good from what I see of it. This looks dope. This looks, looks actually like pretty Hugh cool. too. The likeness is very close to Hugh. What's that? I don't know. Little baby Hulk. I don't get that. That's <laughs> is that what Hulk, it is? But... Yeah. Yeah. Isn't this is this in the comic? I guess. I mean, I I never really read that 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 story, but I guess it's part mm. of the comic where he's carrying a. A baby Hulk hmm. and a severed arm, eating an arm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Is that from uh, his backpack? Hawkeye's arm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah look at it that. looks good, it looks, man. It's like it looks good. Yeah, yeah. Did a good job with it. Is it supposed to be based off the comic? Yeah, Old Man Logan okay. comic. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I really like this character design, dude. This old school cowboy look. It's actually really dope. It's different, and then with the claws, I like that, that that jacket. It also comes with two jackets too. I think one's a oh, that's right. And one's yeah. a it's got a little hint of Hugh Jackman in it, doesn't it? Just a little. Yep. It does. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely does. <clears throat> yeah, this is a cool. This is a cool release. That little Hulk, though, man, <laughs> that's, that's a trip. That's right, yeah. weird. That's the trip, man. Clark J, what's up, man? LWO last Friday. We actually did it last night on Sunday, dude. Go check out um, uh, Dan's channel, Six Scale Reviews. Yeah. yeah, we did LWO last night. It was uh, it, it was, was spirited. interesting night. <laughs> Spiritual? Is that what you said? It was sp yeah. spirited. Yeah, spirited. yeah, yeah. Exactly, man. Evangelion says, yeah, it's part of the comic. Use code 12 inch Moonstream to get a kickback. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Moose has got his own code, man. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, man. This actually came out looking pretty good. I like it. There you go. There's the so other coat. Yeah, just when good. you think you're back in on track with your hot toy sideshow payments and all, you got all these third parties coming out <sighs> behind now. It's too much, dude. It's just too much, bro. No. And then on top I of have... that, we got this right. Bruce Lee that this just also dropped awesome. in quarter scale. This, this is gorgeous. I've looked Holy at this several times in the last yeah yeah so this is what a like 50 year anniversary of some and then they're putting out a core scale piece with his rooted hair they good job man this looks amazing i haven't sent this to my boy who's a huge martial arts i mean he's he does martial arts and he's been a huge bruce lee fan as far back as i can remember and uh but he's not a collector he always comes over and appreciates my room but he's got kids so he's like nah that ain't for me but i sent this he was like Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes that one. Like, it just ooh. takes that one to push somebody over the edge, dude. Look at that glistening on the, on the sculpt. The sculpt. It's That's insane. incredible. Wow. That's a cool minimal base, too, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that old Hot Toys version needs some updating. We need that. Definitely. Oh, yeah. My Blue joints fell apart, so I had to like re glue them to kind of keep the structure and preventing them really? from falling off. Yeah, because I, I did a little bit of stop motion with that Bruce Lee, and then when you do that moving around too much, <clears> that they kind of tend to fall apart. So, nice yeah, piece, man. Good. What is it? One, it's one third quarter scale, quarter scale, got it, quarter scale, yeah, quarter scale. Now, <clears throat> something else that came out is quarter scale. So PCS actually teases with an April O'Neil. Did you guys see this? I did. From the animated. So seeing these turtles, I think, looks really cool. I mean, she really, I think she completes the look here with the four turtles. That, that was dope, except for Donatello's goofy-ass expression. <laughs> but, <laughs> not a fan of that. But she's actually going up, dude, for pre-order, I think, in a couple days. For 607, not bad. Going up on the 4th. 
So there's April. I was hoping P-Rock would be here to commentate on this because he's a turtle guy amongst our group. We need, we need that alternate uh, April that I showed you a few weeks ago. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the adult version of April. Uh, yo, PCS also announced a Star Wars license. I don't know if you guys actually caught that. Hmm. Yeah, like Ant that. Adams was on uh, was on Rad Titan, and they went ahead and dropped the announcement that they're doing a, uh, a Vader bust along with uh, what, what was a Darth Maul third scale, I think. So that's that's bad news for my wallet. I don't know about y'all, but <laughs> I'm curious to see how they're gonna pull it off, man. I'm curious to see what they're actually gonna do. Oh, we got to swap out part with the mic and the piece slice of pizza. That's cool. You know what I love about these PCS pieces when they do their animated figures, they they paint them so well where they look like they're, they're ripped out of the cartoon. I don't know if you guys have I've seen the Transformers Generation One, the G one versions, with cell shading and everything. They look sick. They look so good. <clears throat> yeah, local lose our trailer guy too. Yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. Blue Tattoo saying, damn, and there's no turtles in six scale. I know, right? You're wondering what the hell's going on with that. I don't I don't know how they... Well, there are with the... Um, they, they did. They did a small run, which I have. It's that Nickelodeon version one from... I don't know what, what company, but it was somewhat a mix in between, you know, animated to movie. Let me see if I can grab you one. I'll show you. Was it the Mondo ones, or was it actually... So I remember Mondo did six scale, but those are more kind of comic based. I thought there was a I thought there was a six scale version of the turtles from the the movie. Yeah, I think three zero was the one that did. Yeah, those. that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah those are those big sweet. old beefy ones. Yeah, yeah. those are pretty cool. Well, let's see what Philly's got. Let's see. These are are these statues or? No, they're they're figures now. This is a six scale figure, but it comes with this feature where this s s popping arm that's already sculpted around, kind of like the mm. the Bruce Wayne one where he's kind of standing like that. But it has separate arms you can put that are you know jointed. Uh, but <clears throat> yeah, these these came out like probably I'd say five years ago, and. Uh, let me look up the company. Uh, I can't remember the name of the company. They did a semi good job. I mean, it's they're it's right. basically a c combination of the comics, animation, and the movie because it, it came with two separate he head sculpts one with the white eyes, and then the other ones were with the actual pupils. Mm. And you know, these are all poseable, and the weapons are really good, really good craftsmanship. I mean, even the shell and posability is not that great, but I mean. It's a, it's, you know, you can still pose it. You can do some different positions. Is this and, it? You know, Dreamx, Dreamx turtles. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, are those Sai? Are they um? Are they diecast? Yes, they are. The weapons are diecast. Oh, that's dope. Uh, that's yeah. actually pretty cool. They they're going really <laughs> high right now because they're they've been in demand. But I, I was able to snag all four turtles and the shredder too. There's a shredder. There's a shredder too. Yeah. Oh um, shit. The shredder, uh, mine kind of. I think the I, I end up swapping it with a Fison Fison body, so it looks a little. Mm -hmm. And I kind of painted the eyes a little more white and kind of give them this mm. kind of dark darkness around. But yeah, I mean they did a good job with those. But these this, these are dated, in, you know. And you also got the uh, three zero or three A, the ones that from the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't really a fan of those designs. I mean, they they looked okay, but. I, they were kind of yeah. they were kind of out there for me. I almost pulled the trigger on those, but the quality wasn't there for those. They were falling apart. Mm. So. Yeah, I know Lou has them. He loves them. There's an April and Crank too. I, oh shit! Yeah, no. There's a, there's also a Bebop and Rocksteady from the movie. Those two guys I liked. Mm. The the Bebop and Rocksteady. <clears throat> they did a good job on those figures. So they look realistic and they're they're huge. They're, they're 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 big boys. So. What I want is that I want the first. Um, the yeah. first appearance turtles, I love that design. Mm -hmm. You know, with with like the blocky kind of look, man, and the long necks and the tails and all that. The big old feet, the big old hands. Well, didn't they do a recent release? It was like a twelve scale. Of those? Yeah, yeah. Naked actually did did a set. 
I have that set. It's actually badass. That's actually a pretty cool set. But something like that in six scale, that'd be nice. That would be I mean, nice. Even, even the movie, just give us the movie. I think everybody would be happy with the movie. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, but <clears throat> me personally, I'm more. I lean more towards all the red bandanas. I love that look. <clears throat> but do you guys see this Prime One Piece's Bane? Dude, holy shit! This thing is absolutely Master. amazing. Quarter scale, Bane on throne. We're looking at a bonus, uh, a bonus edition that comes with a few swap out head sculpts. But holy jeez! Now, I heard some people talking about Bane shouldn't be sitting down because he's such a he's such a massive presence. He should be standing up. But I gotta say, I love this look. I really do, man. <laughs> I mean, call me crazy, but. There's just so much going on with this piece. Look, look, look at the bad signal on the back of the throne. That is sick, dude. Well, it's a it's a smart thing to do because you know big pieces like big guys like that, like Thanos, like you know Dark Side, mm -hmm. and you got Bane. You want to put them on the throne because it saves you, it saves you space, but it also gives you a good presence with the throne. You know. Sixteen ninety nine for this piece. For a quarter scale piece, man, sixteen nine. We're pushing third scale prices, man, and it sucks, but that's just what it is right now. But damn, this is beautiful. Cal, what do you think of this, man? You got a, you got a bin in your collection, bro. I'm happy with mine. Um, I purposely haven't looked as hard that hard at this one, but they've got they've been coming with several individuals on thrones lately. Mm. So, I With do Batman like it though. Recently, yeah. But Batman on the Throne, um, Poison Ivy on the Throne, look, Bane on the Throne. Yeah, the like, Ivy one's pretty sweet looking. Right. I hear so it's like to do everybody's, a getting, on everybody's getting their fix. I've heard that as well. So, um, especially with space. And of course, and I'm always a glutton for punishment because I'm still looking at that uh, Superman versus Joker. So. That's that's where my mindset on my next uh, <clears throat> prime one piece, and then then would be a quarter as well. I'm like, I already have a quarter, I already have a quarter piece, so I I feel I would need it. But for those that get it, this looks like it will be a nice piece. But you are paying third scale price for it. Mm -hmm. This has got to be eighty pounds. Oh, probably. Yeah, no, this, he's, he's gonna he's gonna be a big boy. This is gonna be easy to be a big boy here. Let's see if they actually list the weight of this thing. I'm loving that second head sculpt with the with the red eyes. That's really cool. So the development, the weight it says product size, thirty nine yeah. kilograms. So let's. Oh, let there me... we go. Yeah, approximate. It already sounds heavy in kilograms. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah, but still, it looks amazing, man. They did a good job with this. This is something that I, if I wanted to get a Bane for me personally, this is the one that I was drooling over, dude. Just I saw the previews of it. So 86 you know. pounds. Damn. That's <laughs> a big boy. Me, me too, and that, that's a major big boy. That's a big boy, dude. Can you imagine the shipping on this thing? So I'm telling you, like, so I looked at, well, between the Jon Snow on Throne, mm. I almost bought that through sideshow that was 300 bucks and then i almost bought that joker i think it's a tweeter head the quarter yeah. scale on, on that. throne that's an 80 pound statue and they wanted 300 that bucks thing was 80 that. pounds yes Woo. yeah two thousand total probably probably more dude yeah probably a little more yeah that's crazy uh, would this scale with a one six Batman or is Bane too big in quarter? I think Bane is too big in quarter scale to scale with a six scale Batman. It would just look absolutely huge. <laughs> yeah. But go for it though, Charlie. <laughs> Try it. <and> let us know. <laughs> let us know what you think, dude. <laughs> but yeah, amazing piece from Prime One, dude. Absolutely stunning. And that's it, man. That's that's all I got. That's all I wanted to talk about tonight, man. Keep the show tight at basically an hour, just under an hour and a half, man. Perfect timing. Perfect. Absolutely perfect okay. timing, man. It's exactly where I want to be. Um, yeah, go around the horn real quick. 
Let me check in with my man Ray. Thanks for coming through. Yeah. You got anything going coming. on? Thanks. You got anything uh, going I got, to talk about? I got drops for Valkyrie, um, the Black Adam uh, with the black suit, and uh, review drop of Gore. So those three are coming out. So look nice. for those on the look for those on the channel. Absolutely. You guys go check him out. I got his link in the, in the description below for his uh, Instagram and his YouTube channel. Go show my man some love. Give him a sub. Give him likes on all his videos and everything, man. He's uh, one of the one of the finest people I know out there in the community, dude. Thanks, buddy. Raise, uh, I appreciate you having me on tonight. Raise a good one. Always, man. Always, man. And first time or Philly, dude. Thanks for coming through, man. It was fun hanging out. No worries, man. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, uh, dude. It was good catching up. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I got the Batmobile, which um, I want to go ahead and do a video next. And while I'm at it, why not just throw every Jazz Inc. You know, vehicle in there and kind of make <laughs> do a, a comparison, uh, right? Yeah, well, more like a tribute video for for Yost because that guy's the guy's the man. He did a good job. He keeps yeah. doing a good job, and he's he's such a sweetheart. So um, that and uh, yeah, that's it. And right now, I'm. Um, I got two uh, on the in on eBay. I got two head sculpts for for Wolverine. Uh, they're older head sculpts, and I'm looking. And it's funny that you see online people always uh, kind of rooting Joker, rooting you know this, rooting that. But I've never seen a Wolverine being rooted, and I'm wondering maybe that's hmm. there's a reason why. I don't know, but I, I want to try that and kind of give them the whole '90s Jim Lee style hair, hairdo. Big and old gonna, wild hair, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna give that a shot. Figured I, you know, kind of, you know, give it a shot, see if it comes out. And if it doesn't come out, no big deal. I end up not, you know, it's just two head sculpts I bought on eBay. So, other awesome. than that, yeah. So I'm trying to kind of keep myself busy. Other than that, that's pretty much it. And uh, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Nice meeting you, uh, Ray. I appreciate yeah, you absolutely. and Calvin as always. Thank you for uh, having me. That was uh, it was a good time. Absolutely, man. I'd love to have you on again, dude, if you're willing to come on. Thank you. Thank you. But guys, check out my man, Figure Craft. I got his links uh, in the description below. Oz does an awesome job, you know, with his, with his photography, with his video, his YouTube channel, Instagram, TikTok. Go check out my man's dude. He's doing some great work. Last but not least, Low Key Collector, Calvin, out on the road. What you up, I'm actually brother? home. I'm just, I just happen to still be in the truck. I've been uh oh, okay. just out running, just been running errands and maintenance on the truck and things like that today. Um, but no, you, everybody knows where to find me. You know, I'll be on Wednesday with Lael and the fellas. I'll be on Friday with the fellas. So oh, yeah. you know where to find me. Um, touching on the Bane real quick while you were um, talking about, it. I looked it up on SciShow for the bonus. They went 1965, and they're oh, not showing gosh. shipping yet. So they're already taxing you just for the bonus, and they're not even telling you what the um, plus plus tax. So that's why I always go back and forth between do I go direct, do I go side short, do I find someone mm -hmm. else's state side that can get me the piece with that won't charge your arm and leg on ta uh, shipping. So yeah, side mm -hmm. side show. Ooh, ooh, they they're trying to hit you with the um, <clears throat> big bad uh, waves. Check out GFX distribution, dude. They get the. I always the forget about them. You always tell me, yeah. you tell me about them. I always forget to look at them. Yeah, yeah, I got my Harley from them, man, and everything. It arrived <laughs> a little late, but it arrived. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that good though? That's that's yeah. what matters. It arrived. Oh yeah, dude. Thanks everybody for coming through tonight on the panel. Thanks everyone in the chat. That's for myself. Hopefully we'll be back. We, 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 we'll be back here next Monday, <laughs> Friday night. LWO. We should be on P Rock's channel. God willing, P Rock is still around. And, um, man, he he been in my for the last couple of days. He's been yeah, in the yeah. green haze last time I saw him. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. right? We're we'll just sitting out of APB man. looking for that man. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully he'll be around for that. So uh, again, thanks everyone for coming through. Have a great week, and um, be good to each other, y'all. You, know, you never know what the next person is going through, so just be friendly, y'all. We'll see you guys. Have a great week. <laughs>